Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up this HDRI Explorer script for Maya and how to use it. This is like a better release because I need you to test out on your end to see if everything works correctly as it should. It's free so you can download it for, from the link below. I developed this tool while I was stuck at home from getting Covid so I hope something good com came out of it. This script needs two Python packages, NumPy and OpenCV, but I'm going to show you how you can set it up in less than a minute. You will have the detailed steps in the readme file of the downloaded content. So we'll be taking advantage of the MayaPy that it's inside your Maya installation bin folder. Open the command line on Windows and execute it as administrator, this is important. Now paste this line of code and press enter, this will change the current directory to Maya's bin folder. We'll be using pip to install the packages, it should be installed al already, just to make sure print out the pip version. Install numpy with the following commands. Now open cv should be really fast. Let's open Maya, in this case I am using Maya2023. Copy the following code from the readme file. Now just paste it in the Python command line. Finally the tool should open, you can navigate to your HDRIs folder and press the load button. The first time you use this tool it will auto-generate thumbnails for the interface. As an example, I will navigate to the folder containing the HDR images and delete the thumbnails generated. Now relaunch the tool and should be generating the thumbnails for the interface. Keep in mind that you only have to generate the thumbnails one time. Now if we click one of the thumbnails or buttons, if you don't have any skydome light in the scene it will ask for one, so let's create one. The second time it will ask for a file node, so connect one to the SkyDome color attribute. After that you can load the HDRIs as needed. It will auto-connect the selected HDRI to your SkyDome light. That's basically it, you now have a new tool for your look dev. So download it from the link below, it's free, and please let me know of any issues or bugs or even improvements you, you would like to see in the future. Okay, see you next time.